subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Potential Tropical Cyclone 9 is still organizing now in the Caribbean Sea uh, with maximum sustained winds of 45 miles an hour and a minimum pressure of 1,004 millibars as the latest National Hurricane Center update at 5 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. The storm is expected to become a tropical storm soon and has multiple tropical storm warnings and tropical storm watches in place for it across the Caribbean. It's currently located at 16.4 degrees north, 65.6 degrees west of stage sit two on the CDPS scale, significant damage possible across some of the islands that it's making impacts on right now. Distances of miles right now, San Juan is 126 miles away, Santo Domingo 278, Grand Turk and Turks and Caicos is 436 miles, Andros Island in the Bahamas is 809 miles, and Miami is 990 miles. However, there are areas to the north and east of the center of the storm where it's moving away that are still facing significantly adverse impacts at this time. There's an absolute gargantuan amount of warnings in place right now, particularly because the size of the wind field impacts are quite large. Warnings are currently in place for parts of the Virgin Islands, even extending further east than that, including Puerto Rico as well, uh, parts of the Dominican Republic, and watches extend into Haiti and the Turks and Caicos as well. Here's the GFS model showing the precipitation and cloud cover, the area of the influence of the storm, if you will. You can see it moving quickly through the Dominican Republic, Hispaniola, and Puerto Rico, uh, and then getting into the Turks and Caicos and Bahamas. The GFS runs have been weakening the system as it does so, not really picking up on too much reintensification, but you can see inclement conditions, at least in this model, run associated with the system having a potentially impact in the southeast United States as we head later into this week and this weekend. It is notable though and very important to stress that the forecast track and intensity are still quite uncertain as there isn't a closed low level circulation yet. Seas for temperatures look like this though, they won't be an inhibitor. 28 degrees where the storm is about right now, when it gets past Hispaniola around the Turks and Caicos and Bahamas, it'll be seeing closer to 29s, uh, even some 30s splotched in there as well. Uh, Land attraction shear will probably be the two main inhibitors uh, for intensification at, for the time being. Here's GFS wind uh, field map, though you can see this is why, at least for the time being, there's so many warnings in place. The wind field, at least initially, is quite large. You can see this GFS run uh, weakens it barely to tropical storm status, though, as it approaches the southeast United States. Other models, again, though, are showing a different scenario, and the consensus is actually a bit east right now where the National Hurricane Center cone is. Uh, again, without a closed low-level circulation, uh, it is hard to predict the exact forecast track and intensity, much more difficult than usual, uh, which is leading to some of these discrepancies that we're seeing. Tangent tropical storm force winds look like this, though, for now. San Juan and Puerto Rico, 99% chance, almost certain that they're facing conditions uh, imminently and right now. Uh, Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, 80% chance. Grand Turk in the Turks and Caicos, 48%. Uh, and Andrews Island, Bahamas, 44%. Miami right now in the 30s. Here's the NCC tr track again. You can see all those warnings and watches right now uh, in place associated with the storm. Uh, those warnings extend through most of Hispaniola right now, uh, further east towards the Virgin Islands and parts of the uh, Leeward Islands. Puerto Rico, Turks and Caicos, parts of the Bahamas are starting to get closer to watches as well right now as well. Uh, as we continue to head forward, and Florida is going to potentially see some watches crop up in a couple days if the trend continues. Here's the latest satellite imagery of the storm. You can see it gathering steam in the Caribbean Sea now, uh, trying to develop some banding features, but no closed low-level center yet. However, that does not disregard the system and its potential impacts right now. Uh, land interaction is occurring with it already. Impacts are being felt, including tropical storm force winds and heavy rainfall that is causing a risk of mudslides and flash flooding. So if you're there in any of these areas set to be impacted, please stay safe. Stay in contact with your local officials uh, for information about your exact location. And Force 13 will be live at 8 p.m. Eastern to cover the latest development. You can follow us on our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube if you're not watching here already, make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook, it's Force13 to find our latest posts there, and we're also on Twitter, it's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below and you can message Fool13 at extension 9094.